All right, it's going to be Patchlaw and Arctic. That means we might be getting another little Mac coming up. One right after the other. The hits just keep coming. Right here we go. Patchlaw versus Arctic. We got a Little Mac versus Roy. It's sure to be a fast place and explosive match. Oh my goodness! A shield break coming out in the first four seconds of game one. That was, uh, that's gotta be a record. Patchlaw is swinging like a monster here. Always finds himself off stage, manages to get up and over the fair. Can he get off this platform? Ooh. No KO punch yet. He doesn't need it to take the first stock. He broke a shield in four seconds. What can he do with KO punch on a fresh stock? All right, there it goes. All right, he's already put 57. Jeez, he's just racking up the damage so quickly. All right, uh, Arctic manages to get a clutch F tilt there and uh, closes out stock number one, eating up the stock count for now. But uh, Patch Law is just so explosive. There it is, the two frame with the down smash. Patch Law takes a huge lead now. Arctic just can't seem to stop taking these big hits. Patchlaw resists the edge guard. Sour F smash, nowhere near enough to take the stock there. Good dancing blade. Seems to have gotten rid of the KO punch. Tried to throw it out there. Just didn't quite make it. Oh, some air mac combos. There's the up B, and he takes it off the top. Patchlaw. Two stocks to none now. Taking game number one over arching a statement. All right, here we have it. The Arctic is counterpicking to the Rob, and we're on the battlefield. A classic game to pick against Little Mac. Let's see if it makes the difference. Seem to be a little bit of autopiloting there after the gyro throw. Rob is doing a lot better at making favorable trades and boxing out Patchlaw. Oh my goodness! But that doesn't matter if he finds the conversion where he needs it. The KO punch taking stock number one. Will he survive this ledge trap? Oh my goodness! What an amazing spike from the down air on Arctic. Just completely evening up the game and uh, taking a lot of tempo now. Already 55% on Patchlaw. Getting wise, he's uh, air dodging out of these uh, cheeky smash attack conversions. KO punches offline, took a bad trade there. Ooh, can't roll away from that one. Side B takes him off the side and Patchwell's on his last stock for game two. Arctic's Gambit seems to be working so far. Patslaw's going to need to figure out a different strategy to change the tempo of this game. Oh, the lingering hit 
box of that back air makes it really difficult to stay on the stage. He's got the KO punch, but he probably wants to hang on to it. Oh my gosh! He really fished for that, and unfortunately he just didn't guess the right direction. Oh, I don't know if that was uh, intentional or just deciding to... Yeah, yeah. When you talk about Little Mag, you're talking about a character whose strengths and weaknesses are so min-maxed and lopsided that uh, sometimes game two on the stage counter pick, you, you just can't really count that. You just have to assume as the Little Mac player that you're not going to get it most of the time and that it's on you to clutch out a game three on a more favorable environment. And this is definitely one of those. Let's see if he can adjust to the character counter pick now that he is on a better stage. So hard to avoid getting the tech chase follow up there from Rob's side B. Just a big hitbox that lingers and lingers and lingers. Hi, I'm back. I get to, I get to, not this fight, but next fight, I get to see who I'm going to be fighting against in the loser's bracket. All right, this first stock is looking neck and neck right now. It's all going to be who takes that crucial first KO. I'm surprised the downer oh, didn't hit. Oh, nice haymaker. Manages to get himself out of trouble there. Runs into the nair. Avoids the up air. Oh, my gosh. There's so much back and forth here. And There's no avoiding that spike, though. Arctic's going to go ahead and take the momentum. Oh, <laughs> Pat Armor wins it back. Nice armor. If this back and forth continues, we're going to have an incredibly tight game three here. Arctic's on a good sequence. KO punch can swing a game just like that and barely here it is, Pat in the lead. Barely enough percentage to get it. Oh, that's great damage. He's keeping the momentum up. He's got Arctic on the ropes. Oh, that was just a little bit of uh, a little bit too greedy to sit there holding that smash attack like that. Oh, and haymaker. there it is. The haymaker just catches him holding right, I'm guessing, as he got up onto the stage. What a sudden 